It is so good to um, be back with you, uh, connecting virtually to take communion together. I am just blessed to think just all the gifts God has given to mankind to make this part possible that even those that are in your homes or maybe you couldn't get to an in-person service because some other things that were going on, we can still um, partake in the Lord's Supper. Uh, even before coming on, I was like, Bianca, just want to make sure you ain't got nothing against me or have anything against you because we take this seriously. We want um, our lives to be pleasing to the Lord and it's only by His uh, wonderful grace and His mercy. Uh, so I, I want you to get your articles. We just have our communion cups. I want you to prepare yourself. Maybe you don't have a communion cup, but uh, you can get some bread and you get some juice. And uh, even if uh, you want to share in communion cups, just let us know. Uh, if you're not in our in-person services, hey, just send somebody to get some. and We can uh, get you some of those cups and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, it is just so good to have something to represent the body and the blood. Uh, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and get your Bibles. We're going to be focusing on 1 Corinthians, uh, starting at that, uh, the 11th chapter and the 23rd verse. So 1 Corinthians 11. 11 and 23. Go ahead and uh, get that. And we just want to uh, welcome God's presence. So I'm going to ask Bianca if you just open us up in prayer and, and go ahead. Let's go ahead and pray over this um, bread and this juice as we um, just thank God for his presence. Let's pray. Lord, we just praise you and thank you for this wonderful time that i um, honestly began as Passover, the Passover lamb where the um, Israelites put the blood over the doorpost so that the death angel would pass over, Lord. And um, through the years it has culminated into the death, burial, and resurrection of your son, Lord. And we just praise you and thank you for Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. And now we take time to remember his death and his burial which ended in resurrection, which ended in the salvation of our souls. So we ask that you would bless this bread and bless this juice and bless our hearts that we might rightly discern your body and that we might give you thanks for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Just want to go through a portion of the scripture today to really let us remember the weightiness of what we're doing. Uh, so often we can do this and we can forget uh, the price that was paid. First Corinthians 11, 23, I pray you have your Bibles or your devices and you can just walk through it with us. It says, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And this is the big part. As often as you uh, eat this bread and drink this cup, you do proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. And and I that that's just the, a heavy, heavy part to think that we're doing this and we're thinking about um, his death burial and resurrection and also we're thinking about him coming back for us Bianca if you get that the second part of the scriptures therefore whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the Lord's body. Now this is huge. So we're thinking if we don't get this right, then there's judgment to us. But there's a prescription in that 30th verse. It says, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat the bread and drink of the cup. And so that whole process, um, we, we're learning that whole process. And that 30th encompasses for this reason, many are weak and sick among you and many sleep. And that heavy that you, you can find it looking at that for many are weak and sick among you and many sleep and we want to make sure that we get this right and he talks about for we judge ourselves we shall not be judged but when we are judged we're chasing by we're chasing by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world and so God really gives us a prescription to kind of work this out. And it's all, it's all in his word. And so as we 
think about Christ going to the upper room with his disciples. I want you to, if there's anything, man, if you, the Holy Spirit's convicting you, um, ask him for your forgiveness right now. To, just cleanse it. If you can't get to that person, um, if you're looking at this, guess what? You can push pause <laughs> and you can text somebody. You can call them. Get it right before you take this communion. If God is bringing someone up into your, your heart so that you can take this right and it can be healing. It can be healing and not judgment of death or dying within your life. It can be a process of healing. So Jesus goes to that upper room and he's with his disciples. Passover as Bianca prayed. And um, they, they don't understand what's going on. But Jesus, uh, he gets the, the bread and he breaks it. And he says, this represents my body that's going to be broken for you. So as often as we eat, let us do it in remembrance of him. Let us eat together. He gets that goblet that's uh, often shared and passed around. Um, it's red. It, it, it's the color of blood. I, I just often think about what God had to work out and the foundation of the earth to make sure that grapes, you know, were able to bleed a red or that color red because he was going to be used in that upper room with his son. And Jesus picks up that goblet and says, this represents my blood that's going to be shed for you. As often as you drink, let us do it in remembrance of him. Let us drink together. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the saving blood of Christ? Remember that song? What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow no other fount i know nothing but the blood of jesus isn't it good to know that we are saved we have been delivered we have been set free aren't you glad god is the one who fights our battles well thank you for sharing this communion time with us and uh, as you go through your week, don't forget about the blood of the Lamb. And remember how we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. You be blessed.